Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Ledger Club, and oh boy was last episode intense. Oh my god, it gave me nightmares that night. But today is a bright new day, it's poem sharing time, let's just jump right in, let's start with Natsuki. Okay, well let's start with the things I don't like. Oh come on, it's a classic Natsuki. So you read my poem, never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. <laughs> I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Ugh. In fact, remember how I said I really wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Oh, that's really sweet. Ugh. Well, I could be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. In any case, still want to show yours. Er, fine, I guess. Stop growling at me. Guys, how about my my uh, my love tip of the day or whatever? Do not growl at people. <laughs> like, don't go up to your crush and be like, Arr. Nope, nope, don't do that. Okay. Eagles can fly, monkeys, yeah, this is very, very simple. I don't, people can try, but that's about it. I don't quite understand it. I told you that you were going to like it. I like it. I don't like it. Let's go to Yuri. I don't want to talk to Monica. If you watched last episode, you would know why. Okay, Yuri starts with the poem. A minute passed and more than enough time for it to finish reading. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, are we going to get like a speech from her about why her my poem sucks because it's too cute or whatever? Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that I might be reading through it. Ha, huh, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? I'm sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. So you can be a little biased though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry, it's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you want to read? Okay, let's read her poem. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's probably going to be complicated and stuff. Yeah, ghost under the night. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street lights have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Pretty beautiful. I, I like her writing. It's, it's beautiful. And now... I don't want to, but the game is forcing me to. Let's go to Monica. Okay, here we go. Hi, Alex Tealy. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah, good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, there are four members in the club. Why do you need suggestions? <laughs> kind of makes me think of something Suki would write. Suki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's a fussy mood pretty often. <sighs> Ah, that's something else that happened last episode. We learned that Itsuki's dad is abusive, straight from her mouth, so I feel bad for her. Yeah, like earlier, this is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. Stop talking about other people's adolescent growth, please. But hey, some guys... <laughs> no, no, Monica, no, let's, let me just read your poem. No, no. So I was trying to look at the bright side. I, I guess? You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be very good. That's because I have to sound confident. Doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Yeah, I guess that's what it means to be a leader. Well, let's read it then. Here we go. Hole in wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frankly glanced my surroundings. Oh, this poem is long. Oh, it's very normal too. If you want to pause the, the video, you can and read it, but I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. And there's a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. Are you kidding me? Why is this? Why are we like poem? I like poem sharing time, but I also hate it. You know, it's like a, it's like a love hate relationship. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. My eyes land on Yuri and Atsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems as they read in tandem. I watch each other's expressions change. These eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with the language? <laughs> uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Yeah, these two have a very like rival relationship ty type thing. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is. Cute. It's talking about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I mean, everything you you do is cute. I mean, I mean, like, can you just look at yourself in the mirror? You could, you you're literally tied to the word cute. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent long enough establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across per something particularly interesting. Which I haven't yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. The music, it's getting... Oh. <laughs> We're getting intense here. Maybe you're just jealous Alex Dilly appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No, if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my... Oh my god, this is intense. This is really... I, I, I can feel the intensity of the room here. What? What? Okay, the room- the room's gotten a tiny little bit more intense. Starting my life so- Um... 
No, why is the music speeding up? Please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. Oh no, the game's starting to glitch again. Yeah, go on. Well, Alex, you leave everything you really think. I'm sure you'll be over heads over heels for you after this. Oh my god. Alex Tilly. And now it's getting oh staticky. She started it. How'd I get Holy crap? Oh well, we have gotten into our first situation today. Natsuki. Wait. I can't choose anyone. Oh my god. No, 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 Monica, no! Oh my lord, get away from me, please. Oh, well. When, why she's in front of the text box? Monica, what are you doing? Please, please stop, please stop. Um, hey Alex Tilly, what? <laughs> the text is going around here. Well, the games has now revoked my ability to make choices, apparently. Uh, I'm, it's like I'm, I'm losing control over this game. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. No, 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 guys. <sighs> well, that was fun. This makes you want to spend less time with the others, and that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. I don't want to spend time with you, especially when you're in front of the text box like that. So then Suki out of the classroom. I mean, why is she crying? That, that was a pretty intense situation. I don't think it warrants crying. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. Well, it looks like they're, they're done. It's like they're, they're everybody's on edge. Everybody's just, like, on, on the edge of a cliff, and they could just be pushed off by a single fart. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Now Yuri is having an existential crisis. I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Alex Tilly, please don't hate me. I don't hate you. I hate Monica. That's who I hate. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Because I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. No! Stop it! That is so weird. Why would you say that, Monica? It's like she, it's like she is the one in control here. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home. I want to go home. Like, just let me go home. Oh, my lord. Okay. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so why, why do we even have a vice president? We have four people. It's not that. It's not that. I just, I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Alex Healy. Oh, she, she wants to stay behind me so that we have, uh, we have a chance to talk. Um, I guess we're not talking. I feel like... I feel like Monica's a perpetrator because she doesn't want us to talk. So Yuri just kind of... And then we're here. Well, it is poem writing time! See you on the other side. And poem writing time was very, very simple. Yeah, I just, I just wrote to Natsuki again. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past few days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Alex Tilly. Hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if Yuri's expression... But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air. I mean, yeah, that was... We both... Yeah, everybody was glitching. Of course it hangs in everybody's mind. Yuri glanced over her shoulder looking around the room. Natsuki's reading manga at the desk. And surprisingly, Monica's in here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. Ooh, ooh, a sub. I see. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened here before. I feel like as soon as I walk into the room... I mean, this happened, like, earlier in the series, too. But, like, I, I'm i just... I'm just, like, how everyone's drawn to me. And I feel like that's not good. When there are, like, three... I mean, I was about to say four. But, no, three girls here. All trying to go for me. It's not good. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you're considering and apologize. You don't have to worry too much. You know I'll only be here a couple of days. I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we're just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. I don't quite think sharing poems does that to people, Alex Tiali. <laughs> it didn't make me think any less of you. I'd already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. Now you're apologizing and you really didn't mean it. Uh, Alex Tilly, don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person, and I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything's a little brighter with you around, and... Uh, sorry, what am I saying? Yeah, we're getting a little very, very close here. Oh, they're back. The two of them are back. It took you about yesterday. Yeah, I just want to apologize. This is sweet. This is sweet. Dude, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Monica knew! I don't even remember anything bad happening. Natsuki completely for... How? And Monica said, and Monica, that word completely, it says it. 
What is going on? You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Why would you say that? Oh my god. What's wrong with her? Oh my god! Holy crap! What is wrong with her mouth? Oh my god! No, 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 no! Why a human mouth? Why a human mouth? Stop it, stop it, stop it, please! Stop it! Oh! Oh no! No! Why would you put human features on her? Oh! oh this episode's getting worse. Let's see who turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey, suddenly the door swings open. Hi, Monica! Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. She- has she ever had black text? I mean, Ma Natsuki and uh, Yuri, they've had black text so much, but like, why is Monica free from this? I'm suspecting her so much more every single second. What took you so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. It must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. She's trying to impress me. They should, uh, no, no, I don't care about your piano playing. Well, like, why? why uh, show me that you can get black text. Show me that, and then maybe I'll trust you a little bit more. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Alex Tilly. Monica smiles sweetly. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica's referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really, except for the fact that Natsuki grew a mouth! I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about, thank you. <laughs> Besides, Natsuki's ready to run away from the closet. Alex Tilly, um, since your comments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together. I mean, in the club. I suppose so. I was going to say no to you after you gave me that book. Well, I guess I need to say to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine! She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her too much. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. Oh, no, see, it's like it, I'm being pulled apart by all of them. It's like, it's like, I, I, I'm like the core of this entire situation. I mean, I was, oh, I wanted to go to see Natsuki and it's a Yuri just freaking glitched my screen. Well, mm, I, I'd look at the cover of the book. The book is, I don't care about your book. After what you just did, I don't care. I mean, like, come on, we're supposed to be friends, right? You can't be fighting over me like this. I don't, literally, I don't care about the book. Okay. Oh, <sighs> oh. Then suddenly, I'm rambling, aren't I? Stop it with the black text! I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. Where I let things in books... When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body get... Oi, 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 I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. <sighs> that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading, right? Oh! Why? I mean, you don't have to, but <laughs> what are you saying? It's like just randomly out of nowhere, just boop and glitch. I quickly retrieve the book that I had in my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ooh, ooh, we're getting really close here. I mean, I don't think this is time to develop a relationship because I don't want to pick sides. I really don't want to pick sides. Just something I'm not very used to. That is reading company with someone. Reading is not one of those things you really do with someone, you know? It's not like you sit down with someone and just like read Shakespeare or whatever. Just tell me if I- okay, I wanna- I wanna see where this goes. I mean, like, we're so- we're so close and intimate now. I realize she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from the, my book instead. Once we lean in a little bit more, our shoulders are almost touching. Feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess it makes it more difficult to turn the page. Here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Uh, sorry, I think I got a little bit distracted for a second. <laughs> By what, Alex Tilly? I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You know, I was used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a little bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. It's me so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. You know, I asked me if I'm ready to turn the page. Said I just assumed that when she finishes the page before me. So I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Oh my god. This is kind of, this is kind of, this is beautiful. This is really, really beautiful. We're just kind of huddled together. Our shoulders probably touching, kind of reading the book together, but... <sighs> it's not gonna- I'm pretty sure it's not gonna last. Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little- My breathing, Yuri puts your hands on her chest if you feel a heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. Ooh, her face. Ah, it looks a little bit- <laughs> Ah, that's creepy. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri sends a practically rushed out of the classroom. I wonder what was that about? 
Alex, so did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. You're exactly a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no. Not really. I'll just make sure you didn't go do anything with her. No, nothing. <laughs> don't worry, I believe you, silly. You just do this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and slip it back into my bag. Oh, poem sharing time and Yuri's nowhere to be found. You know what? Let's just let's do poem sharing time and uh, maybe I'll end off the episode there. Hi again, Alex Tilly. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not something bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure. Here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Is she ever curious why why I never write to her? I mean, like she kind she has to know that like I, I write like cater to Natsuki or whatever. It, I feel like she she's one of those people that be disappointed. <laughs> All right, great job, Oxtilia. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good strategy. Of, like. Yeah, getting accomplishments i guess like everybody thinks you're stupid but no you're a genius huh that's not very fair well i guess it worked anyway you know yuri likes this kind of writing right what? yuri yuri i feel like the story is like pushing me towards yuri i don't want to write towards yuri <sighs> whatever sometimes i feel like yuri's mind just totally detached from reality i don't mean that it's like a bad thing though but sometimes i get the impression that she's totally given up on people you spend so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her that's why she gets so happy when treating her with a lot of kindness. I feel like anybody gets happy when you treat them with a lot of kindness, you know? Like, kindness is a beautiful thing. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction. Why? She's being... Whoa, 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 whoa. Monica, even if you weren't, like, a creepy person already, that's... You're being very, very judgmental. Like, earlier, I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for a long time. Suddenly the door opens. Oh, Yuri's back! Hi, Yuri. Yeah, Yuri, we weren't we were definitely not gossiping about you just now talking behind your back. No, 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 no. We are great friends. I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright, thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get to go get my poem now. But anyway, you wanna read my poem now? Yeah, let's go. Save me. I don't like that title. The colors, they won't. Bright, beautiful colors. The vowels are just randomly disappearing. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating with, with verb, with, um, sc uh, king, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent. I feel like she was doing like her math homework and she just kind of fell asleep or something. <laughs> what? Like playing a chalkboard on a turn table, like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. Endless poem of meaningless. Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. I don't like that line. Oh boy. Well, Monica has so started to glitch too. So is it every who's who's behind this? I don't even know. Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. She's self-conscious. How does she know about saving the game? Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. No. 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 Not the fourth walls. No, stop breaking the fourth wall, please. Is she coming for me too? How is she self-conscious? No. No, Monica. No, 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 no. She knows I'm here. She knows about saving. She knows I can hear her. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Now we definitely know that Monica's up to something. She just literally spoke to me. That was so creepy. Oh my god. God, no, the fourth wall is the only thing protecting me from this game, and now it's been broken. Oh, and I think that's where I'm going to unnap the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.